hello guys welcome back to my channel on today's tutorial i will demonstrate how to make a spiral rose sleeve design hi my name is ayo and welcome to 011 clothing tutorials on this channel i upload diys pattern drafting and sewing tutorials if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you. I'll be working with the following items. Pattern paper. Long basic sleeve pattern. Rulers and cuffs, ideally a pencil should be used to draft a pattern but for tutorial purpose I will be using this black marker pen, pins, tape measure, paper scissors. So I have here this long basic sleeve pattern in case you do not know how to draft this the tutorial will be above and in the description box below the length of the basic sleeve is the exact length that i want for my sleeve once i'm done with it what i will do now is to measure the length i want for the spiral rose design at the end of the sleeve so i go ahead and measure six inches from the end of the sleeve upwards I will square the line across like this then I will cut it out I will set aside the upper part of the sleeve for now this is the lower part of the sleeve that I will be that will be altered to form the spiral rose design so I've gone ahead to divide it into six equal sections I will go ahead and slash the division lines but I won't cut them all the way through. On the new pattern paper which I have already spread out on the table, I have already drawn a center line and I will use this center line as a guide to spread out the lower part of the sleeve which I just slashed. I will use 2 inches for the spread. 1 1 inch for the middle part and 2 inches all around. I will now go ahead and cut it out. As you can see, we now have a flounce. So this is the flounce. I will go ahead and remove this upper part which I slashed and sprayed. I will remove it. And this is the flounce. As you can see, I've already marked the middle line on the flounce. On this side, I will go ahead to find the center and I will mark the center point, the middle point. I will now go ahead and connect it to the middle line like this. Using my curve. I will cut it out. So now I have gone ahead to draw this curve using my free hand. 
you can also make use of a french curve if you want the width of the curve on this side is the same thing as the width of this side of the flounce which i've already trimmed to about half of its original size as a guide in case you want to make your own i will measure the length of the inner part of this curve so you can now use this length as a guide to make your own to make your own curve so after measurements the value, the value i got is 19 inches so it is 19 inches long i will now go ahead to fix the flounce to the curve using a cello tape So as for this other end of the flounce, I will extend the end by about 2 inches so as to achieve the V-like extension at the end of the spiral rose design. So I will connect it to the main flounce like this using my curve. I will now go ahead and cut it out. So this is the pattern that will be used to create the spiral rose design at the end of the sleeve. This is how it will be folded to create the spiral rose design. I will now go ahead and cut it out on my fabric, including the upper part of the sleeve as well. So now I have gone ahead to cut out the sleeve patterns on my fabric. I use half an inch seam allowance at the upper part and on the lower part and one inch seam allowance at the sides. As for this lower part of the sleeve which will be used to create the spiral rules effect, I use half an inch seam allowance all through. I cut one piece for this upper part of the sleeve because I'm making just one sleeve. For this lower part, I will go ahead and notch where the extension starts from on the fabric. I cut two pieces. One piece was interfaced using a hard paper steel, while the other piece was not interfaced. In place of paper stay, you can also use the add color stay or any stiff interfacing of your choice. At the end of the sleeve, you can also fix this narrow 1 inch wide crinoline. But I won't be using it for mine because the sleeve I'm making is for tutorial purpose only and not for an actual out outfit. So I'll place the other piece on it like this, right sides together. I will align the two pieces together very well like this. And I'll go ahead and stitch in this direction using half an inch sewing allowance. As for this other part of the sleeve, I will fold it into two like this, right sides together. 
and I will stitch using 1 inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. I have knocked the center of the sleeve as you can see. The fixing of the spiral rules will start from this upper part and not from the seam line where the upper part of the sleeve was joined together. So the fixing of the spiral rules will start from this center upper part. So I'll pin in place. After which I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done. As you can see, I used half an inch sewing allowance. This is the overhanging piece, and it is what and this is what will be used to create the rows. So I will use my needle and thread for this. First, I will fold it like this. I will turn it like this, fold it like this to form a rose. I will now go ahead and secure it firmly in place with the needle and thread. of this trimming to cover up any exposed raw edges at this inner part. I will also use the needle and thread for this. So that's it guys, we are done. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you so much for watching.